Um, good afternoon. It's um, approximately 12 32, and it's um, Monday. Um, this is a very serious one. Um, I submitted this um, story twice. Um, neither, well, one would not be published. It does not say that, I don't think. Um, and I was curious by that. I do know that you cannot use certain words and so on. I'm fully aware of that. I, I am a writer. You know? um, the second one made it uh, acceptable in a way. Um, um, it, so there had to be older than 18. Actually, I would say 19, but kids, uh, uh, university and college kids are all, you know, they have access to a lot of them. So. so I deleted both and I'm coming back a third time. And I'm not entirely sure what the reaction will be. But this has to do with rape. I mean, this is real least stuff, rape. Uh, I'm going to read you a definition from uh, Webster. And um, the dictionary, one day when I can get a barber to be, do that, because the cup is over you, your uh, mouth. It, 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 it really is hard. Uh, the definition of rape. One, unlawful sexual activity and usually sexual intercourse carried out forcibly or under threat of jury against a person's will or with a person who is beneath a certain age or incapable of valid consent because of mental illness, mental dis deficiency, and intoxication, unconsciousness, or deception. Two, an outrageous violation. Well, that's one of the concentrating on. Three is an act of instance of robbing or despoiling or carrying away a, a person by force. Okay, um, this has to do with hazing. Um, and this goes back way back when this is, I know this is an ancient period of time for you, uh, 1973. Um, but as, as I've indicated in the past, that um, was enrolled at uh, what was then Arundel College or um, University of Toronto, um, Mississauga. The residences were new. Um, I think um, I lived in 151, and there were five other guys in the town. Uh, um, there was a, a very young, uh, well, I guess he was 18. We were all pretty much the same age. Um, but he was shortage. He, he was a hockey player. He, he had strength. You know. uh, everyone in Canada plays hockey, and perhaps except with, with me. But um, he's a nice guy. He's probably one of the nicest guy I I met. Um, too, at uh, that uh, college. Um. 
It was um, started by one who lived in the house. I know who he is. Uh, and he provoked the, uh, got it going to um, get this uh, hockey player, take him outside and, and literally rip uh, his clothes off of him. To me, that is a rape. He, he didn't want him. That was in, in, invading his personality. It was totally humiliating him. That's a rape. I always felt sorry for him. I trust and hope that it does not continue uh, in uh, universities, co colleges here in Canada or the United States or uh, the UK, uh, anywhere. Um, it also happened to me. Uh, and I think this is what I wrote in the journal. I kept about, I tumbled across uh, that um, journal. I remember if I told you in, in the second bedroom I have all, all laid out all, all these manuscripts and so on. And there was a journal and uh, I leafed through it. And that sort of came up, you see. Um, I would, as I mentioned in the past, I was then uh, president of the student union. Excuse me. <coughs> and um, we held a bit of a party shortly after uh, my election. So I was ten. And um, uh, uh, I think. Um, in any way, um, we all had you know, consumed a fair amount of alcohol, and I don't know, recall exactly when that happened, but it did. All of a sudden, a group of them, it's never going to be one or two, or two a bunch of them, you see. And they dragged me outside and stripped me naked. Now, how something I, to me I don't want that uh, but I was slightly inebriated so um, uh, and how do you fight on mm, three or four of them it's, uh, that's totally disgusting I have to tell you that uh, males were taught way back then to um, just put up with that ever crap comes along I never, ever, ever go to the police uh, on anything, uh, perhaps with the exception of murder. So um, I went up to my room and got dressed, and when I came down again, they held me outside again and, and uh, stripped off my clothes. That's right. So, um, I went up to my bedroom again and um, came down and for a third time they took me outside and stripped me down. What do you do about that really? You do, you handle things, actually that's immoral, it's illegal. I think today it's even punishable. That is, you go to, if found guilty, you go to jail, if not, you should. Because you're destroying a person's personality. You're cutting him, he or she, down to nothing. I think um, women and males male, ha have something in common. Women, uh, it's far worse, it obviously is sexual intercourse and so on, enforced and so on. Um, uh, well, what many do, especially if they're very young, they keep it in their subconscious. They never think about it at all, consciously. But later in life, maybe well, in the 
maybe 21 years of age, the maybe ironing a, a, a blouse or something, it goes, Poof, they were raped. Or it may be 44, um, one uh, their kid happens to be diving into the sw swimming pool, it goes, snap, it, it occurred to her that she had been raped. All of these things are rapes. Um, I don't know what it's like in American states or Canadian provinces, but if it's not illegal and punishable by prison, then the law in this, at least Canada, is useless. Well, we found it odd anyway between the United States and Canada in terms of um, prison. They seem to sp spend far less time in a Canadian uh, uh, prison than in the United States. That's wrong. There's supposed to be punishment there. And someone who uh, uh, comes up and rapes someone three times. Wow, 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 wow. That has always stayed with me, unlike um, I mentioned others might do. They might place in the subconsciousness. And it's not always come to mind every once in a while. And it's one of those very negative things in my life. So, um, I would like if I could, and if he, I mentioned it earlier, I know his name, and um, if this becomes so, somewhat knowledgeable, no, 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 you have to keep it kind of a stunner. Uh, I'm telling a lot of people can be criticized when you first study. That's those are what you call stupid people. But I would like to meet him. I have no idea what I would say to him. Um, but I would like to um, uh, just meet him um, and convey my uh, sympathy for what some of thought did to us. Um, and I say this re highly recommends if there is a threat or someone does that to you. Um, personally, I would have forgot uh, about campus or university police and gone directly to uh, the regional police and told them I've been raped. This is not a joke trying to tell the owners of this institution this is not a joke, it's reality. So I finally feel, I feel a little more relieved in telling people. I've never actually told uh, anyone about this. I told uh, a girlfriend of mine about it. She said, I'm very sorry. Life is totally absurd. <laughs>